to Vlogmas. Mila and I are heading to town to get, hi, hello, uh, heading to town to get some supplies for some last minute DIY Christmas gifts. If y'all don't know, I love a good personalized gift. I think it is special. I feel like there's so much sentimental value behind it and I love making them. I do have a Cricut machine and um, that is my favorite thing when it comes to like making custom stuff. I use it to make quite a bit of things for Mila's first birthday party and I just use it a lot in general. But something else that I started using this year that makes things like extra personalized and that I really have enjoyed doing is my small business that I have and that is Primped Design Co. And that is where I make uh, custom portrait illustrations. And about a month ago, I started playing around with a different style of uh, like digital art and um, it was actually brought about by my best friend Kelsey who gave me the idea and I ended up doodling and it was like super quick and it was the first try and I doodled up a picture of um, me and her and our other best friend Brittany and I put them all together and it was super cute and it gave me an idea of what I wanted to do uh, for Christmas gifts. So I'm going to take it a step further with the Cricut and I'm actually going to, I am blowing up, I'm actually going to hand draw out family members and friends and then use my Cricut to print out those drawings and then put them onto something. That's what we're going to go find is something that we're putting it on. I know I could frame some of them or put it on like a cutting board. Of course, if I did like a cutting board, it would just be like on display. So I'm trying to think of something um, I could put it on a cup, and if I did a cup, I do have like special premium vinyl for that, like it's waterproof and that you can actually like, you know, wash. Of course, not in the dishwasher, but you can still wash it by hand. Um, so that's what I'm trying to think of, exactly what I want to do, um, and that's what I'm going to take you guys along with me for today, and hopefully the other family members that I'm making stuff for. I'm trying, I'm not going to show, I don't want to show, show. I am going to show you my friends, um, because I'm going there tomorrow. By the time they see it, they will already have got whatever it is that I'm making. I'm going to go ahead and make theirs and show y'all what theirs looks like. So I'm just so excited <laughs> and I have such a clear conscience. If y'all don't follow me over on Instagram, then you would not know that we had a mouse in our house and it was, y'all, I'm terrified of them and we haven't had one in a long time especially having Mila in the house that thing and I think what made it so bad was the fact that when I seen it I was in Mila's room and I was getting ready to put her down for a nap and it was like halfway dark and it just whew, it shook me to my core so finally I was calling him JC which which was short for Jeepers Creepers <laughs> um, so JC got got <laughs> and um, he is no longer in, in action in our house and I, I'm still, I still got a little bit of PTSD so I'm still walking around with shoes on and I'm still like super alert when I enter rooms and I don't go in the room if it's dark like I'm still, it's going to take me a little while to get over that so I'm just happy that that's been taken care of and I feel like I, just the weight's been lifted off my chest but it doesn't take away the fact that there's possibly more you know what I mean, so Anyway, wanted to fill y'all in on that, but we're going to go now and try to find what we can find. If I don't vlog a lot, just just know that it is hard being out in public, single parenting, during this whole mask pandemic stuff. Because you're trying to be extra particular with what you touch and all the things. and. So bear with me if I don't have but like a, a little bit of footage because it's it's a, it's a bit easier when like somebody's with me, Mama or Cody, because they can kind of be with her as I'm doing stuff. But mm, yeah, so just bear with me today, please. Yeah. 
go take a nap. You are. You, you are? Are you sleepy? up some more snacks for our delivery driver. I like this box because it has sweet and salty in it without having to buy two different boxes. So you can see all the goodies that's in there. So I'm gonna go put this out on the porch so they can figure out what they want. I guess I'm gonna put one of each out for now. Just because there isn't like a whole lot of room in that basket so as I see stuff missing I go and refill it <sighs> very happy to be home <laughs> I get lots and lots of questions about the software that I use to draw on um, I use it for a lot of stuff not just um, like my small business but I make stuff for myself and you can like just I like being able to like draw on a screen so two things you have to have well, three things you have to have to do this are an Apple Pencil. doesn't matter which one. This is like the first one, I think, that has the um, cap that comes off the end to charge it. And then I do have a grip that goes on top just because I do draw a lot. So it's just easier for me to grip onto it. Of course, an iPad. I guess you need to see exactly which one will um, support the Apple Pencil and Procreate. That's the third thing. Procreate is the app. Procreate, one word. Um, that is the app that I use, and there are tons of tutorials. This is not a tutorial, but there are tons of tutorials out there and give you a better idea of how to use it. That's what I had to do was watch a ton of tutorials and even still, it's one of those things that you have to play with because there's so much that I don't know. I was watching somebody on Instagram the other day that has like a little illustration um, business, like they do a lot of stuff, and she was saying something and I was like, she does what? I didn't even know that was a, there's just so much that this app entails, but I wanted to show y'all the little picture that I was talking about. Um, first, let me show you how I typically draw images. So you guys have probably seen this one on our um, YouTube channel here. So this was our art for Christmas. As far as the other um, concept that I was talking about earlier, which is pretty much just like a outline of the face and hair and just like a few accessories. I'm thinking this is the kind of style that I'm gonna do for the gifts and I also might draw up some of my like original um, illustrations. I love this one of this couple. This is an older picture. I love doing these. Like if you find a picture of your grandparents or something that's like super vintage, it's a little hard. I'm, I'm not gonna lie when it comes to drawing it because I have to base it off of the image that you give me which is kind of hard because cameras were not the best quality back then. So the image is not great and it's kind of pixelated when I start zooming in and try to look at really tiny details. So that can be a little frustrating for me because I want to make it look as realistic as possible and like the person actually looked. So that can be a little, dis that can be a little aggravating. Plus um, another thing is because of filters and all this editing now with newer pictures, people like to send me pictures that have all these filters on it, which means your skin color is not the realistic skin color that it is so it's hard for me to gauge what to do if that makes any sense so um but i love this look at them gosh i love it so i have no idea who that couple is but that was one of the portraits i was hired to do here recently i just wanted to show that one that was like one of the top ones on here without me scrolling through but what i'm going to do now is so i have that image of us three 
and I think I need to make it a little thicker so that when I go to cut it with my Cricut, it won't have like teeny tiny little like things to have to cut. So we're just gonna make it a little thicker than what I normally would for something like this. So now that I have my much thicker drawing than before, I do like it really delicate like it was before, but for something like this, if it was a, if I were printing it out, I would definitely keep it thin like that. But because I am not, <laughs> I'm going to actually put these on mugs because we kind of do um, like coffee chats with each other and we'll see each other pictures. So I think it would be cute that when we're all home and chilling um, and we're doing our little girl chat time that we can all be drinking out of our cup um so i'm actually going to put these put this image on our coffee cups let's go over to my workshop <laughs> when y'all see this hot mess workshop so let's go ahead that's where my crickets at so where is my computer <laughs> here we are okay so over here at my cricket i do have the cricket maker i need a trash can in here because that would make my life so much easier cricket maker I made the file um, a PNG, which just means that the background's gonna be, um, I made sure to select no background on that picture. And of course this computer is dead. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna send it from my iPad over to my MacBook, whatever this is, yeah, MacBook, um, via AirDrop in a PNG. So then I can upload it onto the design space and send it over to here. So hold on. <laughs> the sound of magic. Okay. Let's get our cups and see what size we're gonna need this to be. I ended up finding these coffee cups at Dollar Tree and I looked at Walmart, but I didn't really like the size option that they had and a lot of shapes. I like this one because it had really straight lines, uh, which is gonna be really easy to put. Of course, this is flat. That's your ideal surface is a flat surface to put these on. You wanna be able to see it and I'm pretty sure we are all right-handed. <laughs> all of us are right-handed. So if we're taking a picture, you wanna be able to see it from that side. So that's the side I'm gonna put it on. But now I need to make sure I know. I do have like a cloth tape measure. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you measure yourself well, which probably be way easier to measure this, but. Here I am, I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it. I'm thinking for the width, three. Let me go get that tape measure. <laughs> Let's hope this batch goes well.
This is hands down the most aggravatingest design I've ever cut out in vinyl. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> Ooh. I gotta say, as, as time consuming as this is, I love it. <laughs> I wish I would have put, because we call each other family ship, because we're in a, you know, friendship, but we're family like. We feel like family, so we call it like our little group of family ships. I should have put family ship underneath this. But it is what it is. <laughs> so, that was so aggravating pulling all them little things. I don't know why I put all those lines. I should have just left all the little details out of our hair, which. I mean, I already got one. Alexa, play Light of the World. <laughs> Light of the World by Lauren Daigle on Amazon Music. The heart comes for a little bit of hope. Oh, come, Emmanuel. to get the girls' gifts bagged up and ready to go for tomorrow and I grabbed Aria's too so I can go ahead and give that to Kelsey. And yeah. um, Mila's over there eating a snack. I'm debating on what I should do with my life at this point. What I can do with Mila being up because I have stuff to do but I, have, I need to wrap some more of her gifts um, but I also need to edit some. I also need to edit some and yeah, I can't do either. I can't do any of that with Mila. <laughs> She's not going to let me. <laughs> She'll just be all into everything while I try to get that done. Mm -hmm. Go play. Mm -hmm. Go on. Go get your remote. <laughs> Oh, you could play. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. 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 I said no. 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 Better shuffle somewhere else. <laughs> Okay. 
Good job. Are you drawing me a picture? It is much later and I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to vlog. <laughs> well, we're halfway done and I'm already a hot mess. <laughs> feel like I just look real tired and it's not just a look I am I mean like I told y'all we've had the mouse and I haven't slept really well and I'm working like a dog <laughs> except in that aspect our dogs don't really work so that's not really a good saying in this house <laughs> I have so much to do I still have some orders to finish for print design company and editing to do um, definitely not complaining I'm just tired. If I had had the normal amount of sleep that I normally have, I wouldn't be so haggard at this current time. <laughs> but <laughs> um, hopefully this this wasn't like, I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know how much footage I got today or what, what went on today. It's all a blur. I have no idea. This room around here is giving me so much anxiety. I cannot wait. Cody's going to help me finish wrapping Mila's gifts and we got to put her kitchen together. And then, once Christmas is over, everything will make sense again. I don't want to rush it away by any means. Don't think I'm rushing it away because I want to soak in every moment I can. Because Mila will never have another Christmas where she's just small. So, um, you know, that's special to me. So I really want to soak it all up and be present. So that's why I have worked my booty off to try to make sure that I have... Um, you know, all my work done so that I can still be present in the moment with her. Uh, but Cody is in there getting her all situated for bed. I already told her good night, um, which is really helpful because if I tell her good night or if, if I'm putting her to bed, she wants me to sit with her, which I do sometimes. Um, but I'm like, sis, we've had a day. You need to let daddy put you to bed. <laughs> she cries going down the hallway, but once she's in her room, it takes her about five seconds and then she's, she's good. <laughs> so... It's just that initial shock, but I'm going to jump into work. Um, one of my shows is coming on, I think, or something. I don't even know, y'all. I ain't going to lie. I don't even know. I'm just so behind. I don't... There is a movie I want to watch on... This is a totally different subject, but there's a movie I want to watch on Disney+. Plus, and y'all probably know what I'm talking about. It's like a fairy godmother or something or other. It looks so good, but I have not had a chance to watch it. And hopefully I'll have some me time here in the near future um, <laughs> to just chill and see it and watch and browse Pinterest a little bit and just, you know, possibly do my foot mask that I've been putting off that I was going to do. But then the whole mouse fiasco happened and that didn't get to happen. Anyway, um, I hope y'all have a beautiful and blessed night and we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow should be fun. So... I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys.